Joining me down the line now from Los Angeles is Irshad Manji, who's the founder of the Moral Courage Project. Irshad, thank you very much uh, for joining us here on Newsnight. And am I right in thinking you describe yourself as lesbian and Muslim without conflict? Well, without conflict, for sure. Um, you know, I came out to my very devout Muslim mother uh, many years ago, and uh, she told me, you are my daughter, uh, and my love for you is unconditional. Um, so I've certainly been blessed with a wonderful parent. But in addition to that, I, I will say that, uh, you know, we Muslims are taught that God is omniscient, and uh, and and all all powerful, all knowing and all powerful, and so surely he knew what he was creating when he created somebody like me. Uh, does God make mistakes? Muslims would sh would say absolutely not. So I have been able through the love of my family and the love of God to reconcile all that I am, rather than lead a balkanized life. I'm very much at peace with being uh, gay and Muslim. Many people of all religions uh, will find it very hard, uh, particularly uh, in this case, it sounds, to be a, a practicing Muslim and to be a homosexual. What, what is the path forward there? Well, uh, let me first say that you're absolutely right. Many Muslims do find it difficult. And in fact, when I speak with young Muslims all over the world, one of the most common questions they ask of me is, how do I tell my parents that I am not straight? Um, some will use the word gay, but uh, that is certainly a much wider concern within the Muslim community than most imams and elders uh, you know, want to acknowledge. The path forward is it's actually cultural more than it is religious. You know, in Arab culture, uh, there is a tradition, a custom known as honor. And while that sounds honorable, it actually is not. Um, honor refers to the reputation of the entire family. And so if somebody is accused of transgressing moral codes, uh, then not only have you shamed yourself, according to this custom, you have shamed your entire family. Imagine the pressure that puts on young Muslims to shut up and conform. And so the path forward is to redefine honor to mean individual dignity, individual integrity and wholeness rather than uh, uh, any one of us being the property of our families.